Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shan and today we're gonna talk about Azure front door. We're gonna create it and we're gonna uh, understand what Azure front door is. So it is a uh, 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 managed services by Microsoft similar to Azure traffic manager if you have worked upon it uh, it's it lets you manage and monitor the global routing of your web traffic by optimizing uh, for best uh, uh, performance and instance global instant global available for high availability what does that mean uh, it means uh, suppose you have got a uh, we've got a bunch of application and you want to make sure that your users always uh, uh, gets uh, reach, reach reach to the application and uh, the application is highly available if one of the application is uh, if one of them is down user is redirected to the next available uh, highly available application and uh, and this is kind of a simple high level architecture when you have your user in front of uh, you uh, accessing your application and uh, they are accessing the application via front door front door being the front end of your application routes your request to the nearest available uh, edge location it works on a level 7 or HTTP or HTTPS uh, and, and uses any cast protocol with uh, split uh, TCP and uses Microsoft global network which means your traffic is 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 kind of distributed and and improved uh, with with global Microsoft connectivity so once user hits uh, the front door front door understand from where the request is coming and it is already if it's serving the request for the first time it takes the request to the nearest available uh, uh, application and next time whenever user hits the application it it takes user uh, to 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 the cached uh, location or cached services it is already done in the back end so so there are a bunch of uh, mechanism available uh, wherein you can do uh, uh, you can you can do your routing uh, just like uh, url based routing or multiple site hosting side of uh, affinity so there are a bunch of rules uh, you can put uh, for now what we're going to do is we're going to create a front door and we're going to understand how your front door actually uh, reacts or behaves when a user hits the application so we've already got our application in our last uh, video uh, up and running web apps uh, up and running so if you go to the resources you would see that both the application one and two are running if you hit them you should be able to see a static web page yes that's the sample one and if I go to the second one you have got your sample to application so these are both sitting on different uh, uh, location and let's suppose you want to have your site make your site highly available so it's it's available every time your user tries to access this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create create a front door resource so right now it is empty we're gonna click on create a front door and then we're using a free trial however i'm gonna demo front door i'm gonna give it a resource group new resource group name and then the first step is the front door host i mean uh, he host is basically uh, you give front door a name uh, this is basically a fully qualified domain name of your front door demo azure sean dot front door uh, and dot net so user would be kind of uh, your your domain uh, would be mapped with uh, this particular uh, front door name we're gonna hit on add and then we're gonna add the backend pools backend pool is like uh, demo azure ft backend pool is like uh, uh, what type of host you're using in the backend is it a load balancer is it an app services if you're using a load balancer or a web server, you can simply select custom host, put the IP address of your load balancer or your web server, and then go ahead. For now, we're gonna create, uh, select the app services, and then we're gonna select the first one, and we're gonna use uh, the by default port 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS. We're gonna keep the priority and wait as uh, as it is. We're gonna hit on add, and we're gonna add another one app services and yep the second one and the rest of the options going to be the same click on add and then the routing rules uh, so routing rules basically are what type of rules 
you want to uh, put so you can you can use bunch of rules um, I, would, I would urge you to look through the documentation um, uh, and these are uh, there are a bunch of rules available like routing rules or site um, site site uh, redirection rules available we're gonna hit on add and we going to create it so this, this is going to review it uh, uh, put some validation and this is going to create the front door for us so while this is being created it's gonna it's gonna take a few minutes alright guys so the front door service has now been created uh, you can see that that's the custom name that's the fully qualified domain name we have given you can always uh, map this uh, C name uh, with with your uh, front door with your custom domain name, so that whenever user hits uh, the URL, it it kind of uh, takes it to the does a recursive DNS lookup and then front door takes it to the nearest location. So if I try to hit this uh, uh, front door URL, it will take me to the app. If I kind of do an do a, a refresh it should ideally take me through to the both the web server so I, you can see that the uh, at the moment um, the backend host is set to 1 1 ideally it should be set to 1 and the second app server so I'm gonna update it hit on update and click on save so uh, once you create a fresh new uh, front door it, it sometimes might take a few seconds or minutes uh, during the first time initialization to to reflect those changes so be patient with that and uh, after some time your your app server uh, should be should be kind of reflected underneath the front door so we're gonna wait for this we're gonna give it a couple of minutes and wait for the changes to happen I'm gonna hit refresh and let's see if it's if it's taking it to the second app server it has it hasn't yet so I'm gonna give it a couple of more minutes and, and see how it reacts all right so um, what we're gonna now do is since we are hitting the application and we're getting a response so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, turn off one of my app and see if if Azure front door is kind of taking the request to the uh, another available. So that's my second app. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it. All right, this has been stopped now, and if we hit it, the the service is not available. So ideally, front door should be taking the request if you now hit the front door it should be taking the request to the another application available so all right this is kind of taking so if we hit the application from another URL it might have just cached it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the URL I'm gonna put it into might have just cached it so as you can see the now it is taking it to the the first one first first application because second is not available if I turn off the second one first one as well if we go to the app one and yeah so app one is available at the moment so if I just stop this and try to hit the front door you can see that the front door is now not available because both the uh, application server web services are down so now we can turn kind of turn them one by one give them a couple of minutes and if the application is up and running now check if one of the application is now up give it some time and if we now hit the front door it should start giving us the response after a few seconds 
the, the front door is now available and redirecting the request to the uh, next available app services yep. as you can see the app turned on the app 2 it is now taking the request to app 2 yeah there's this there's, there's clearly some latencies available um, sometimes it does but 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 yeah, I generally, I mean, after some times, it, it takes some time to replicate the changes and uh, your your app too is up and running and so is uh, Azure Front Door is kind of taking your all of your requests to the second web server. So yeah, that's that's about that's about what Azure Front Door is and how it kind of is configured and takes your uh, makes your sites or application highly available. I hope this was informative. Um, give it a give it a thumbs up if you liked uh, liked it, and uh, do share your comments if you would like to hear more about Azure Front Door, and do let me know uh, about about the video if you if you liked it or if you if you have any feedback for me to work on, I will be happy to hear them and answer them. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.